here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the water text you guys saw in the beginning and if you guys want to support me in any way I have a website where I have some editing packs that could improve your editing feel free to check that out but yeah let's get uh, right into this tutorial here so the first thing we're going to do is to add a text here normal text uh, so you're going to right click here you could actually just use the <laughs> the text tool here and here we're going to type your text and for this tutorial I'm going to type water because it's a water text you can adjust the settings here a little bit something like this looks good and when you are satisfied with your water uh, text and how it looks you are going to make a solid layer so you're going to right click here go to new and then solid and here you can just uh, yeah make the solid layer and here we're going to be adding fractal noise and we're going to change the fractal type to dynamic twist and then the contrast to 200 the brightness to minus 10 and then we're going to open up transform here uncheck uniform scaling and here i'm going to set the scale width to 100 and the scale height to 400 so it looks something like this here and then we're going to uh, hold alt and press the clock here on evolution so here we get the express settings here and we're going to type time star and then 250. So now it's going to be evolving at this speed which I thought looked very clean. And that should be good for the fractal noise uh, setting. And now we're going to be adding CC Blobilize. And then we're going to open up Blobilize here and choose our water uh, text layer. You can adjust here on the softness and uh, the cutaway uh, if you guys want but uh, i like uh, how it looks now with the default settings so i'm going to leave it at that but i'm uh, going to keyframe the light position here so we're going to change the light type to point light and then in the beginning set the light around here then keyframe it in the beginning go to the ending which is, which is five seconds and then set it to the other side i think it looks pretty good and after that we're going to be adding cc glass and here Open up the surface up and then change the bump map to water again. Open up light and shading. And it looks kind of weird now, but we're going to change the settings. So the softness is going to be 8.5 and the height is going to be 100. And the displacement are going to be 0. So this just adds a tiny glass effect here. And then we're going to be adding CC Mercury. Here is where the water effect comes in. So you're going to start off by setting the velocity to 0.5 and then the birth rate to 56.3. After that, the longevity to 4 and then the gravity to 0 and the blob birth size should be 0 as well. So now you get something like this here. Looks very, very clean. But now it looks kind of like a liquid metal, I guess, uh, the text. So you're going to change the colors a little bit here. Uh, so you're going to add the adjustment layer now. Control alt y And here you're going to be adding four color gradients. And you're going to choose a lighter blue here. So go with something something like this here. And then copy the this uh, blue color here to all of the other color positions. So something like that. And then you're going to change the blending mode here to color. And uh, this, this is like too much blue here. So you're going to change the opacity to 25. And after that we're going to be adding sapphire rays. And here we're going to change the ray length to 1. And the uh, rays brightness to 1.5. And then change the race color here to go to blue here and then just go a little bit to something something like this just a tiny tiny bright blue after that we're going to be adding deep glow to this and here you're going to drag up the radius to 1110 and then drag on the exposure to 0 0.53 0.5 around there very very clean and then you can add smooth blending to this as well so now it looks something like this here and uh, you guys can you know adjust the opacity on the color here if you want to have it a little bit more blue in my opinion a little bit too much so added at 25 before but maybe like 30 percent looks good something like that and you can also change the race uh, color here to a little darker if you want to have that as well and just to add uh, a little extra like water effect to this we're going to add another adjustment layer and here we're going to add universe heat wave so this is 
actually for like as it says like for a heat wave you know when a when you see a fire the air above is kind of like blurry so this is basically what this effect does but i think it's it looks more realistic in like water as well this effect so this is how the text looks now it's pretty 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 clean in my opinion and uh, looks realistic and, uh, yeah i'm pretty satisfied with it and uh, if you guys yeah enjoyed this tutorial please like and subscribe and if you guys have any new ideas on tutorials i can make please comment that down below and don't forget to check out my website check out my socials join my discord server and uh, i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day